The universe is one of those things we're never going to fully understand. It's so big, constantly changing, and it kind of seems to go on forever. Now that's not to say that people haven't tried going to the edge of the universe. I'm sure they have, and we've just never heard from them again. They probably died. Space is scary, and as much as we know about it, in comparison to what we don't know about it, well, it's slim to none. Today on Life's Biggest Questions, we're going to do our very best to give you guys the answers. It seems no one knows as we ask, what if we travel to the edge of the universe? Make sure to smash that like button or the universe will collapse and it'll all be your fault. I'm blaming you for this one. All right, so this video is going to be a very confusing and convoluted one, simply because there really is no definitive answer. The universe is constantly changing, as I mentioned before, and because of this, it's pretty tough to even determine the edge of the universe. Naturally, this makes it even harder to determine what would happen if one were to travel to the edge. But there's much more to it than just that. As we know, time and distance in space doesn't necessarily work the same way it does on Earth. As in, a straight line from A to B on Earth would look very different in space. This is due to the fact that on Earth, or any planet, star, our moon, and so on, space-time is curved due to the concentrated collection of mass. Talk about a headache. Now, if you're not a science major and instead just like to lift weights like me, what this pretty much means is that in space, time and distance are measured differently because, as we know on Earth, for example, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. That's just how it works. In space, however, the shortest distance between two points depends on the shape of the universe between that distance. We know the entire shape and size of Earth, the universe, not so much. And with this in mind, it's actually impossible to even fully understand what would happen if we got to the edge of the universe, if that's even possible to do so in the first place. On top of this, as we know, the universe is constantly changing and evolving, and with that in mind, it's pretty hard to determine a certain distance. However, scientists have been working day in and day out to try and understand or discover more about space, so naturally, let's find out what would happen if you did travel to the edge. Short answer, who knows? Long answer, I couldn't tell ya. Here's the thing. Over the years, we've created tech and equipment that we thought would help us learn and understand space, galaxies, and the universe. And we definitely have. To say over the years there hasn't been significant advancements in space travel and knowledge would be absolutely absurd. However, it seems we may never know everything. As astronomer Virginia Trimble from the University of California explained, I quote, The universe has always been slightly larger than we could see. And it seems Trimble isn't the only one who feels this way. As Nobel Prize winning cosmologist John Mather explained, I quote, Telescopes only observe the observable. You can't see back in time further than the age of the universe, so we are totally limited. We've already seen as far as you could possibly imagine. But just because we can't see the universe going further isn't an indication that it doesn't. From what we understand to be the edge, for lack of a better word, we see what's referred to as the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, which is just the leftover glow from the Big Bang. And although at first, some thought maybe that was the edge of the universe, in which maybe if we kept going, eventually, we would end up back where we first started. That would be the case if the universe was spherical. However, it seems that's likely not the case. The other options would be a satellite universe, in which it's bent but not fully spherical, or of course, a flat universe. John Mather went on to explain, I quote, The universe is flat like an endless sheet of paper. According to this, you could continue infinitely far in any direction and the universe would just be the same, more or less. So I guess that kind of answers our question. There really is no edge and from what we understand, if you were to keep going even past where the Big Bang occurred, you'd likely just end up finding more space, galaxies, and who knows what else. However, here's the kicker, folks. Although most people do agree that the universe is flat, technically it could be finite, but there's no way to determine that. Trimble explained what you could look for to see whether there's an infinite universe, nobody quite knows. So does that mean there is an edge or there isn't? Well, as I said before, no one quite knows. It seems the common consensus is that the universe is likely infinite, however, it's possible it's also not. There's a theory that the universe is actually a sphere, however, it's such a large sphere that from as far as we can see, there is no indication of a curvature. In the most simple terms, imagine you have a massive ball, and you're right in the middle, but you can only see about 10% of what's around you. Odds are you wouldn't start to see the curve or spherical shape of the ball, and it would appear flat. That's pretty much what we're dealing with here, and the ball is the universe, it's just so big our brains can't even comprehend it. All in all, if someone were to travel to the edge of the universe, if it even exists, I think it's safe to say they'd die from lack of oxygen, food, water, you know, basic human necessities. And if somehow you were well equipped enough to travel billions of light years away and make it back, well, I guess make it there in the first place, good luck finding your way back. Google Maps doesn't work out in space just yet, and besides, the radiation from the Big Bang thing, yeah, that would probably fry ya. And there you guys have it, so please, don't try this at home. For now, let's blow some comments from the video. What if SCP-096 was real in 2021? Get me, Diana said, just when everyone thought things were getting better, 096 is real. Certainly hope not, but I feel like that'd be much worse than the pandemic if this thing was real. I don't know though. Probably. Kyle Stanley said, honestly, SCP-096 is just me with a bad hair day. 
or me with my hair tied up but like coming out like this, holy jeez. Like the whole video, it's just getting worse and worse. I feel like this is how it's gonna end up. I'm just gonna be doing the video, it's just like. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Mickey said the first thing came to mind, COVID. Yeah, I never even thought about that. Imagine this like SCP was just like, I'm gonna come run it and run at you real fast. I'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep your distance there, bucko. All right, guys, that's all for this one. I've been your host, Jared Bronson. You guys have been watching LBQ and we'll see you guys soon. There's a theory, there's a theory that the, oh,